Right, welcome everybody to another episode of We Inspired. We're in for a special treat today. It's going to be a lovely sea bass, Maroof's very own recipe. He's been messing around and tweaking <laughs> it about to perfection. So it's, it's going to be a sea bass how you would cook it normally. And it's going to be a phenomenal, well I've been told, it's going to be a phenomenal dipping sauce. And it's, it's sort of Thai inspired, stroke Malay, but it's put it together and it tastes absolutely gorgeous which i've been told and i'm going to taste it today tell us about it Maruf. so this i'm going to cook this just the way i usually cook it at home but the flavor is going to be in the chili sauce you can use this chili sauce as a dipping sauce you can put it on meat chicken fish whatever you like it, it, it i've basically tweaked it a little bit um but yeah i usually have this sauce all throughout the year whether it's dipping my chicken pakoras onion barges into it this sauce is just amazing. So it's a straightforward 10, 15 minutes process and you've got a fantastic meal. And I think to myself, what a wonderful. Okay, people. So this is, like I said, it's a simple dish. Piece of sea bass. That's just half a sea bass. Look at that. Cleaned, washed. Um, a drop of olive oil, some butter, salt, some flaked chili, garlic, um, one teaspoon of fish sauce, and one teaspoon of soya sauce. Um, chili sauce, chilies? Bird's eye green chilies. Bird's eye green chilies. What are these called again? Bullet chilies. Bullet chilies. I have these all the time, I forget their name. Bullet chilies, lime, lemon, and tomato. If you want the tomato, it's just to reduce the spice and give it a bit more flavor. You don't have to add tomato. So here we are. All we're gonna do is, we're just gonna brush olive oil onto this. Tiny bit of salt. And this is it. This is done. All we're gonna do, put a piece of butter here, piece of butter here. This is gonna go in the pan and we're gonna fry it in butter. Three minutes, two, two and a half, three minutes on either side and the fish is done. So that's gone. Now comes for the tasty part. So we've got these big fat chilies. I'm gonna put them in the pestle of mortar, but I'm gonna cut them up a little bit because otherwise I'm not gonna be smashing them. Here we are. We're going to add these in here. And then we are going to put these chilies. You know what? We can put these as whole. We're going to smash this up. This is going to give a fantastic flavor to really anything. So <clears throat> Maru's having a little break. So half a teaspoon of salt gone into there. So the salt should help all of this just mash up as a catalyst. I'll tell you what, it smells divine. If we add the sauces, the soya sauce, yeah. The fish sauce. Let's just bust these up, mash it up. There you go. It's going to be a lovely chili paste sauce kind of thing. So, fish sauce, about a teaspoon, yeah? Yeah, that's one teaspoon. A teaspoon of soy sauce. Yeah. Wonderful. So lime now. Perfect. Yeah, it's going to have a wonderful acidity to it. Wonderful. Oh, I can smell that. The lime, just the fragrance from the lime was absolutely wonderful. Now this needs to be a little bit more runny, so we're going to add a bit of water. So let's add one tablespoon, 
two tablespoons and let's check it out. Yeah, that's got a lovely consistency. Yeah. Right, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. This has got my mouth all going. <laughs> the salivas. Now, I probably would add some tamarind. <laughs> a bit of Indian influence to it. But let's taste this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, that's nice. Zal, that's very <laughs> spicy. Very spicy. Tangy. Oh, it hit the back of my throat. All those chilies, tomato. I'm loving this. So what would you what would you say for a dip? Like Yeah, what would I say? Generally dip in your samosas, whatever you want to dip in there. Do you know what? This mate, all I can say is gorgeous. I think it's really nice, something different. Um I can see why it's Thai Thai uh, inspired and um, all those uh, the fish sauce and all of that. It's gorgeous, mate. Definitely wonderful. So I can't wait to taste the fish with it. Okay, so we're gonna bang on with the fish now. So guys, we get a non-stick pan. What we do is we just put a piece of butter in here and that's where we're gonna put the um, sea bass. We've got some, we've got some here. Oh, 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 oh. Now we put the gas down to a, we're doing it in the restaurant, so it's gotta be low. We don't want to see this to burn up. Here we oh, are. See, that looks nice. Oh, look at that. Really shriveled up. Put the heat down. Side. I think Maru's going to kill us today. Now that's not that spicy. That sauce is. But the, the sauce is really spicy. That's if you like spice. If you're not a fan of it's super hot, then you can, we put four chilies in there. Yeah, just you can reduce the chilies. Just reduce the, the, the green um, chilies. So that was literally about, min about a couple of minutes on one side and a couple of minutes on the other side. And then it's going to be done, yeah? Yeah. Fish is done now. So that was only, what, about four minutes, four yeah. and a half minutes? A couple of minutes each side. And that's done. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. So now we show you. Yo, it's looking lovely. Bit of coriander, a little bit of coriander here, just a to... wonderful. Yo, it's looking wonderful, mate. So now you get this and you just drizzle it. Pisto resistance. Boiled pilla, boiled rice, basmati, sea bass, rockets, lovely chili sauce. Wonderful. Absolutely gorgeous, mate. Let's have a taste. It's a moment of truth, Mr. Latif. Right. It's looking very pretty. It's looking spicy. It's looking... It smells fantastic. Can you hear that? It said, eat me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually listening now. <laughs> All right, so now... Uh, let's, have a, let's have a little taste. So, so it's cut wonderfully. Look at that, fish is cooked. There you go, it's not overcooked. Nice, spices. And let's put a bit of that chili sauce. Bismillah.
Mm. That's nice. Sea bass was nice and fresh. The cooked, nice and it was subtle the way he cooked it, but that sauce, it just elevates it to the next level. Um, it's a cold sauce. It's just drizzled over and that fish, nice and warm, buttery sort of fish. Very nice, very flavoursome. I think the sea bass was fantastic. Now let's have a bit with this rice, yeah? Fish off that sauce. Gorgeous, very nice, very flavoursome. Wonderful, Maruf. I think you've done a fantastic job. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much for this fantastic recipe. Hopefully if you liked it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and put some lovely comments on. See you soon. So guys, you've heard it from the expert's mouth. He's tasted it, it tastes fantastic. This is a 10 to 12 minute job at home for you guys to do. Um, and if you've enjoyed this vlog, um, like, share, and subscribe, like Latif said. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, We Inspired. See you soon.